Okay, thank you, PJ and Zenobia. Uh, we're going to take some time to answer some questions from, from the attendees. Um, we, have, we have a couple right now, but if anybody has any questions, now would be a good time to type them into the interface. Uh, we have a question from Jim. How do you maintain steam pressure for the rest of the building loads? How do you maintain steam pressure? For the rest of the building loads. For the rest of, you see, this reset control is based on hot water, not steam, so you would not use it for that. This is for a hot water reset loop, not a steam. Okay. But theoretically, I guess we could use the universal model. Correct yes. me if I'm wrong. That's Genovi. correct. You could use the, the universal model with, um, you know, with a pressure pressure sensor, and that also has reset on it. Um, you don't necessarily have to do just a. a, a you know, you can kind of reset anything you, you, you want to. But, but that would reset on pressure versus time. So that would be a little tricky. I don't... Yeah, don't do pressure. Yeah, we don't want to do that. So it would be more based on the... This is the hot water reset, not steam. We would have to use a different controller for that. Okay, we have another question from Kenneth. Does the T775 bus permit expansion of sensor inputs? No, it doesn't. That, that bus is just um, for the additional relays, and those relays will... Uh, control to sensor A or sensor B. Additional four relays on each one. Right. Okay, and uh, we have a question from Mark. Can it do any other reset functions? Absolutely. I mean, I think Zenobia uh, wanted to jump in there as well, but it, it'll reset any way we need it to. Um, we, we're using hot water in, in our example here, but certainly discharge air, anything you want to reset, we could based on temperature or using the universal model based on whatever. Right. Uh, if you wanted to you kind have. of reset, you know, humidity and temperature, uh, like a, I don't know, a pool area or some type of um, uh, winery, you know, where you store your wines, we've seen some applications where they wanted to reset humidity and temperature using a universal universal model. So just it doesn't just mind. have to be a boiler reset. Right. And keep in mind, the universal model, though, one always has to be temperature. The other one can be anything That's you correct. Have. You, you have to reset based on temperature, yes. Correct. OK, I have another question from Imran. Uh, what are setback options available? Could an auxiliary time clock at sensors could be used in conjunction with this Honeywell controller? Absolutely. Um, the, that's the digital input. We can use the digital yeah. input um, as our setback uh, initiate. And then you yeah. program your temperatures within the control at that time. Okay. We have uh, another question. I'm having a hard time reading it. Um, do you need a separate power supply to, to use with loop power? Um, I can't read the rest no, of it. No, you can use the same transformer. You don't need a separate power supply for like the 4 to 20 milliamp. Yeah, it actually has an onboard. One of the terminals is a power terminal yes. for the 4 to 20 milliamp. Um, but I do suggest on the end devices using a, um, you know, if you're using a modulating output, to try to use a different power source, especially if you're using more than one end device on the, on the modulating output. Okay, question from Chim. Does it work with wireless sensors? No, uh, we didn't talk much about the, the sensor inputs. Uh, this uses a, just a, a 1097 ohm a sensor input. The older T775s were PT3000 platinum sensors, uh, so this needs a 1097 ohm uh, uh, input. It will not work with a wireless sensor. And all the standard models and reset models other than the U, which would obviously we talked That's about correct. The transmitters. Okay. A uh, question from Brett. Uh, can, can this be used as a lead lag controller for a dual pump system? Uh, interesting. Never used it for that. Um, it would. I would have to think about that. Um, it's not made for that. The, the, but would the boiler model be able to do that, the P models in OVO? The, the P model, you can do a lead lag situation. And also, um, uh, you know, with the, with the boiler, you can do, you have some different lead lag options. You can do first on, first off type thing. Um, with the T775L, it's a sequencer model. It will also do uh, a, lead, a standard lead lag for you. Okay. Okay, a question from Peter. Along with the expansion module, will I be able to control six boilers, lead lag on H, uh, HW pumps, fresh air damper? On the, you would, you would probably need a T775L uh, or, or, or a P. Well, probably a T775L because you can do two loops and you can have 
um, up to two independent relays, and that will also do a lead lag for you. Yeah, that's right. The two loops are programmable. Yep. Back from Tim, can it be used to see the pressure of the boiler? If you're using a T775U and you have you know, and a pressure sensor, then it will display the pressure on the control uh, in PSI. You can set up the units that you're using. But, but once again, in a reset model, we wouldn't use it for steam. So if that's the question, we, we wouldn't use it for steam. Okay, and from Peter, two hot water pumps? I don't know. Can it control uh, two hot water pumps? Can yeah, that might be a follow-up on the previous question. Uh, the, the P model has pump output. Um, can we do two on that? No, oh, yeah. um, you would probably just need to use a regular T775, um, you know, the relays to control your two, your two pumps. Um, the T775P has one dedicated output for pump, uh, for your pump. And on that one, you can do your pump exercising and your, post, your pre and post purge and, uh, you know, things of that nature. Only on that model, only on the T775P do you have a dedicated output specifically for your pump. Okay, thank you, guys. I think we seem to be just about out of time. Can you go back one slide, please? Yeah, I'll go back. Yep. Want me to go back, too? To the, uh, the product portfolio. just wanted to mention that industrial controls has an extensive product portfolio. We plan on doing more of these types of webinars in the future. Uh, we have one that's coming up in February. It's going to be using Bolimo actuators to retrofit existing valves. So uh, we're going to send out an email invitation to that coming up pretty soon. If you missed any part of today's presentation and you want to view it online, we'll have it posted and we'll send a link to that um, in an email too. Um, if you have any feedback, uh, you can send us an email or, or call us. And can you move to the next? There's contact information on the next slide, PJ. Contact right here, yep. Any feedback you have would be appreciated. And that, that ends it for today, so thank you for attending. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. It was a pleasure.